Enzio, here we are on the Victoria Embankment in Nottingham. What does it feel like to be sitting here right now? Um, yeah, obviously it feels good. Um, good to be back. Um, all the nice weather as well for us to um, return to training. But yeah, like, still enjoy it here in Nottingham. You know, living here and yeah, it's good to be back. And it's two years since you first arrived from Crawley Town, but the time seems to have flown for you. Yeah, um, a lot has happened, of course, uh, in my time here. But um, like I've said, every time I uh, give an interview about my my uh, move here, I enjoyed every every minute of it. Um, we had good times and bad, but still I have absolutely no regrets of um, signing signing here, not not County. Let's rewind to two years ago. You uh, you arrived here from Crawley Town. What were your expectations for the sort of the short term uh, from that day? Um, obviously, um, when a manager is wanting you to play for his team, um, you know you have to like um, earn your spot because yeah, there were already players here who, who has played and like the first question was um, what number I uh, I wanted uh, on the back of my shirt. And I was playing with number seven on uh, at Crawley, so I was like, oh yeah, can I get seven? But I think uh, Louis Alexander at uh, at seven, so he was like, oh no, like you have to get eleven, you know. So no, but um, yeah, I, I wanted to get in the team and um, be important because that's what um, Kevin Nolan at the time uh, was signing me for. And what did you expect of the team that year? Um, of course, I've played against them and. Uh, I was watching them in the playoffs and it was, it's a, it was a big club I've known back then and with good players who knew how to win games. Um, unfortunately, they didn't get promoted but um, yeah, at the time I thought like, oh, like we had a, we're going to have like a good year if I signed there and with the signings we've made that year, I really thought like um, we could push for something good. Was there a point in that season where you felt things weren't going to turn around did you or did you believe right until that last day at Swindon that we were going to stay up? Um, obviously I said a few times last season oh, like I don't believe we're going down um, personally for me when I got my injury and um, until that time it was still bottom I think um, yeah it was hard obviously um, you know you're not going to give up you know you can't say, oh, we're getting relegated, but like it was difficult because um, I don't know what it was, but we couldn't win games. And um, I just wanted to get back to being fit and help the team out, you know. And um, looking back, um, I don't know, maybe it was too soon, maybe not, but it didn't work out for me as, as I wanted it to be. And when that relegation was confirmed on that final day, how did it feel personally for you? Uh, yeah, like it was empty in my mind, like I didn't know what to feel or what to think. Um, like I felt felt sorry for the fans, I, because that's not what you want for a club as Notts County. And that's not why I came here to um, help them get relegated, you know. Um, because that's what's going to be in the books, on the internet, everything that, you know, you were in the team that you know, got relegated. So it was hard. Um, yeah, it was hard, a hard summer for me uh, personally. Yeah. It was obviously made doubly hard by the, the off-field problems at the club at the time, the uncertainty over the ownership, um, the non-payment of wages. You know, that must have just made things extra tense and, and, and horrible to deal with at a difficult time. Yeah, but like I ha I've had some time to um, in the off season to work on myself, um, to get fitter than I was, and um, I just wanted to um, yeah get back to business and like when you um, when you know what's happening with the club and don't know if it will survive, um, it's hard. But like the team that we were with at that time, we just thought like we. We just keep going, you know. You you don't know what's going to happen, and we might get taken over, and then we are fit, you know, like we can get going. And I think that was a, a good thing to do for uh, from us. Like we just stayed stayed on it, and um, yeah, in the end, 
I think we did a great job doing that. There were times, obviously, when it didn't look good for the club. It, it, you know, many fans were worried that it would cease to exist. Were there any moments for you over that summer where you thought, I need to leave and, and continue my career elsewhere? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I, uh, I, um, I've heard about some interest uh, in me. And like I've been in the football business a couple of years now and interest means nothing, you know. So if there's no um, bid on the table, then nothing's happening. And I was just being busy with training here and wanted to show everyone, you know, in, in nothing and what I can do. That's why I came here. And um, yeah, I just wanted to personally make up for um, yeah, what happened the season before. You know, get stay fit the whole season and yeah, and then show what I can do. So when the takeover happened, you must have been one happy man. Yeah, I think um, I put something on Twitter straight away, and uh, yeah, I think it was a relief. I think everyone was just uh, just happy that we uh, yeah, we could still keep going and um, start the season uh, on a on a good run. So um, yeah, once again, like the owners, you know, great people that they. Um, They've helped us um, get into this point. And you had the likes of Jim O'Brien and Michael Doyle uh, staying on. I know that they probably get in your ear a lot on a on a match day ends yeah. and probably in training as well. But how good was it for you personally to see those two stay? Well, like it's massive for those two. You know, um, like when they signed last season, um, they also were an important part um, in our team. You know, um, they are more. Um, they're longer in the game and, you know, they help me a lot with my positioning because that isn't always, wasn't always good um, defensively. Um, but with the help of them, I think it improved um, and with the help of the manager, of course. Like any footballer, you're, you're obviously open to criticism and tensions naturally ran very high last season. Um, how would you describe your relationship with the fans now compared with last season? Um, I think um, I've never had a bad um, relationship with the fans. Um, obviously, when things are not going well, um, you get criticism. That's that's what it is. And um, I think it was more after my injury. So when I came back, when people were more uh, putting more criticism on me, um, I felt like I did a good job coming back as soon as I did um, but maybe I had to take my time because I wasn't as fit as before um, my defensive work wasn't the same and um, maybe um, it was our style of play I don't know um, this season we have more the ball and you know I'm in better positions like I've learned a lot from it but yeah I've, I've, I've been caught lazy loads of times um, inconsistent um, yeah like you know it's criticism everyone has their opinion I don't think everyone thinks uh, about me that way um, but yeah I just I just um, look at my numbers like this season like they hang up after each game and you see how much I ran every game and I'm in the top five every every game so I wouldn't say I'm lazy definitely not I was going to ask on that sort of note, when you see that sort of criticism, which, which every player does receive from time yeah. to time in their career, does it knock your confidence? Because I don't think there's any shame in saying that it, it maybe does, but also, or on the flip side of that, does it spur you on in training and does it make you reflect on your, your own performances more? Uh, yeah, of course. Like I think criticism, it helps you in a way. Um, but like, I think when I was younger, I would, it would do more to me than it does now. Negatively or positively? Um, negatively. I think um, back in the day I could have be at home the whole weekend and think about what people had said and you know what I mean. But now I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just show them <laughs> that I'm not, you know, that I'm not lazy and uh, that I can be in good positions, that I can score goals, you know. So. Um, that is why it's in a way it's, it's good, you know. How would you rate your own performance over the course of this season? Um, oh, out of ten. 
Go on. <laughs> I would say seven. Um, I've been involved in a lot of goals. Um, could have been more if I. Now you're going to talk about the inconsistency what people are talking about. Um, I don't think you can be at a high level every game. Otherwise, I wouldn't be at this level. You know, I would be higher up. Um, but yeah, I've, I think I've improved um, with my with my goal scoring, with giving assists. You know, be more involved in goals. And I think when I was at Crawley, um, I played as a winger, and I wasn't as um, how do you call it? Um, as sharp in front of goal than I am now. So I think that has improved. And the way we are playing now, we have a lot more the ball. I'm not playing really as a winger, but like a midfielder. And I come in the pitch much more. And um, yeah, it suits me. Like I had to get used to it at the beginning, but the manager has us playing the way he wants to. And yeah, it suits me, I think. How great does it feel to be back after that long, long lockdown? How do it feel? You know, back with the lads and back on the grass. Yeah, it feels great. You know that you're working to um, to the playoffs. You know you're playing for something, and uh, yeah, we have to get to um, through the hard work now. We can't say that you haven't done plenty of hard work over the last few months, though. You've been calling a number of supporters along with the rest of the lads to check up on them, and you've also been the co-host of a very popular social media feature, Zoom with Zoom, which certainly has, uh, has been a massive hit with the fans. How much did you enjoy getting un involved in all of that? Yeah, I think it's very good. I wasn't expecting um, that I would be uh, on for so long. Um, but yeah, I just liked it, you know. Um, I've seen the reactions of the fans, and um, yeah, like it's, it's, it's things that I like to do, like interact with them. Um, with people, that's uh, what kind of person I am. And obviously now we've got the playoffs. So, are you seeing this as a massive opportunity for you personally, as well as the club, to right the wrongs of last season? Yeah, definitely. It's 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 on my, it's been on my mind the whole season. Um, I just want to um, get back where we belong. And um, we had some negative uh, negativity last season. What I was talking about is in the books that I was in the team that got relegated, but I want to be in the books like, oh, we get we got Notts County promoted back to League Two, and um, yeah, I think everyone in the team is uh, yeah, one desperately wanted to want to do that. So that's two years done at Notts County. Um, obviously, we don't want to look too far into the future, but hopefully, uh, after the next two years, you'll have achieved some success and you know you'll be in those history books for a, a really positive reason on top of all the fantastic goals that you've scored and on top of all the great things you've done in the community for us fingers crossed your name will be up there as you know one of the ones to treasure in our recent history yeah definitely i hope so i hope so enzio it's been an absolute pleasure we better let you get to training and get that hard work going for the playoffs thank you thank you for having me